Today, people gathered at City Park to commemorate the genocide of Armenian Christians by the Ottoman Empire that started in 1915. Armenian Americans, refugees, and supporters gathered around to lay flowers and share stories. Courtney Salman went to the ceremony to get more on this story. Forget me not. And that's exactly what we're doing. We will never forget that. That is the flower pin Svetlana wears so she always remembers what her ancestors did to survive. This is something everyone should remember, not just the Armenians. It affects everybody when we have a sort of tragedy like this. And so it's important that we come together and, re and make remembrance of such events. April 24th, 1915 marks the first day of attack on Armenians. The Turks' main targets were intellectuals. This would lead to the genocide of roughly 1.5 million Armenian Christians. These attacks are also known as the Forgotten Genocide. It was forbidden to talk about that before, but now it's not. And while we're here in America, in a country with freedom to speech and everything, you can say what you think, what you do, it's your. You know, and we're really happy to do that over here. Armenian Christians are Orthodox Christians. Even those who don't follow the religion still showed up to pay their respects. Well, forget culture, forget religion. You know, as people, we need to support one another, and especially in times like this. The more people that understand what happened in history, the more hope that it won't happen again. We want that to happen to anybody. We all people, we're human beings. We all have rights. In Twin Falls, I'm Courtney Salman, Idaho's First News. The first commemoration for the Armenian Genocide was held in 1919 in Istanbul. It is now has international recognition.